What's going on Internet? IG here again today. Today we're going to be having a quick look at Ubuntu's latest final beta release for Ubuntu 14.04, the trusty tear, and of course it's the long-term support release as well. So this is the beta 2 or the final beta that the Ubuntu team are going to put out before the final release of the long-term support release of Ubuntu, and it's got quite a bit happening with it. Unlike past LTS releases where they've really just polished up the features that they already have, they've actually worked pretty hard to include some features that, well, users have been wanting for quite some time. Now most of these that have been headlining recently are of course the ones like the local integrated menus, so that instead of having menus up in the global menu, you can simply change that to have the menu in the Windows title bar. And as you can see here, Nautilus also has full menus, which is also another feature that they added back into Ubuntu. Now I have customized this a little bit already. I'm running the Numix theme as well as the Numix circle icon theme, and I'm sure most of you are already aware of what they are. Of course, if you're not, then there'll be links down below and you can check them out because they are very well designed icon set. But getting back to Ubuntu itself, the Ubuntu desktop is really starting to look polished. I know it always did, but as far as the little things go, like the smoothing on the edges of windows, the shadows that the windows cast, and the overall performance of things like the software center, the update manager, all of those things tie together to bring a desktop that's actually quite modern and it's quite polished. And while Unity might not be everybody's cup of tea, they really are making strides with making Unity something that's very user-friendly and relatively stable to boot. Now because this is a long-term support release, Canonical are vying for stability here over features, but having said that, they still have included the features that I've talked about thus far, and I will be talking about more of the features that have come with this Ubuntu 14.04 release in the full review. But it suffices to say that Ubuntu 14.04, even in its final beta stage, is surprisingly stable and it's very capable of handling your everyday tasks. Now, of course, if you're in a production environment and you're not exactly comfortable with running beta software, then I definitely agree you hang tight until it is released later in the month. But it's definitely promising what we're seeing so far from the Canonical team. As the Ubuntu Unity desktop matures more and more, they're really proving themselves to be able to provide a consumer-ready but polished desktop on a regular six-monthly schedule. I actually haven't had any issues with the desktop thus far. I haven't had any major app crashes or system crashes, which is pretty surprising for a beta release. But like I said, they are vying for stability here over features. One thing that I really do appreciate about the Ubuntu desktop is the fact that you can integrate online accounts very easily. And as you can see here, I've set up my online accounts with things like my Hotmail, Twitter, Facebook, and my Google data. This is only a quick look at what Canonical has coming in the future with their 14.04 Trusty Tear release. So definitely let me know what your favorite features are about the upcoming Ubuntu release in the comments section below. And feel free to ask me any questions that you might have about this release on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for the full review later this month. And needless to say, I am expecting great things of this distribution as it is going to replace uh, what was previously my primary distribution, which was, of course, Magia 4 with KDE. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the very near future. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.